What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and today I am not alone. I'm joined by the man so good at gaming he's been accused of using <laughs> tool assistant speedrun. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> oh no. Why? Um. Hi, friends. It's me, Nate. I'm back. I'm alive. Hello. <laughs> Nate is alive and well. He exists. And he is going to be back for the rest of the season, so... Yes. Thank you again, Nate, for all the help behind the scenes, but also for being here for the episode itself. And thank you to all of you who participated in the challenge. It was actually a surprisingly low number of participants. However, we were happy with the combos we received, and thanks again to those of you um, who even took the time to stream multiple attempts um, on your Twitch channels. I'll leave you know, links to all the... Or I'll leave links in the description below uh, to everybody's Twitch channels or YouTube channels or whatever it may be you use to share your clips. But yeah, um, it was exciting to watch, and I think you guys are just as anxious to get to the results as we are. Oh, Nick, I'm on the edge of my seat. I can't wait to hear these results. <laughs> you already know that. Shh! No, <laughs> don't ruin the suspense. <laughs> All right, so in third place. The first clip we're going to be showing off is Beachamp, who had a really creative uh, Yoshi combo from Smash 64, getting some, you know, retro Smash representation up in here, and chose a pretty cool stage in Saffron City, took advantage of that stage to set up for a really nice spike, which is always a stylish finisher. So thank you again to Beachamp. If you aren't able to look at the combo on screen right now, you'll be able to see that in the description below. So, um... Yeah, thanks again, DJ. In second place, we have Reese's Combo on Smash Ultimate. I really like this because uh, she managed to confirm off of a B with a really nice Din's Fire and then lined up a pretty snazzy edge guard with Phantom Slash. I really liked it. Just all looked very satisfying, lined up nicely. Good combo. Mm hmm. Solid edge guarding. And we even looked up Phantom Slash to make sure we used the we right did. move name. On Hero vs. Zero, we know our stuff. Still learning, still learning too. Um, all right, and with that, we'll hop into the very first place combo. Uh, first place for the first week of Hero vs. Zero Season 5. <gasps> Who is it? It is none other than Ben with oh. a sick Diddy combo in Smash Ultimate. You'll see the Nair, or the falling Nair into a quick back air and then pulling the banana to interrupt the recovery with a quick stylish down air uh, while grabbing the banana to finish things off. So. I will say I'm always a little bit biased towards Diddy Kong combos because I main Diddy in Smash Ultimate, but Nate was here to help keep me in check, and we both agreed that uh, this was definitely the combo that deserved first place. So congratulations, Ben, um, and thank you to everybody who participated and completed the challenge. There were two other people who completed the challenge and one person who participated. Uh, all combos that were not featured in the video right now uh, are available both in HeroNet on the Discord and in the description below, so do go check them out. And with that, I think we can get into the next challenge. Are you, are you excited, what, Nate? I, would, I wonder what it's going to be, Nick. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know. There hasn't been like a precedent or anything to give any sort of prediction as to what this next challenge might be. Definitely not. Totally up in the air. But, um... To much to people's surprise, we have to be a master round five. Yeah, round five. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is, of course, the season's Pokemon challenge. So, like every season, uh, there's a tournament involving some generation of Pokemon with some interesting rules. Uh, this usually is one of the challenges that most people participate in, and it's always one of the more fun ones. So. I'm very excited about it. Nate is an absolute Pokemon master. He knows everything about Pokemon, so I know he's just dying to get into explaining the rules for this one. Oh, are you gonna do me like that? <laughs> no, no. I, I won't do you like that. <laughs> I was um, sweating. I, I'm definitely the, uh, the competitive Pokemon player of the two of us. But, let's talk about what exactly this tournament is going to entail. Um, for those of you that haven't played competitive Pokemon before, uh, you're not alone. Uh, for those of you that have played competitive Pokemon before, you're also not alone. This is an accessible tournament for people of all different skill levels, 
and we try to come up with interesting formats that don't give too much of an advantage to people that are um, competitively experienced with traditional formats. And in this particular tournament, uh, it will be potentially single elimination if we need to, um, because there are so many participants, or if not, it'll be double elimination, meaning each person is guaranteed to have two tournament matches. And there'll be a bracket. And before I get into the rules, please join the Discord. It is an absolute requirement that you join the Discord in order to coordinate the tournament. The description to join the Discord is in the description. Wow, the link to join the Discord is in the description below, so do check that out. And you will have 48 hours from this video's upload to sign up for that tournament. In order to sign up for the tournament, you have to go into the Discord in the HVZ channel and say, I would like to participate in this tournament and tag me so I can know to include you in the tournament. Okay, so now with that out of the way, because that's the most important information, um, what exactly is this tournament going to be? It is going to be Generation 8, so Pokemon Sword and Shield, UU, meaning underused. Uh, there are multiple tiers of Pokemon based on how competitively viable they are and how frequently they're used in competitive Pokemon. The specific tier we're going to be using for this tournament is underused. If any of these terms are unfamiliar to you, links will be in the description and on the Discord. And myself, as well as many other people, will be there to help answer questions, because it can be very confusing and overwhelming to somebody who's not familiar. However, there will be a specific tier of Pokémon that you can use to build your team, and each match or each set will be a best of three set. So you'll have an opponent, and you'll need to play three, at most three, um, matches against them. There is one interesting rule that will spice things up from just standard Gen 8 UU play, though. You cannot use the same Pokémon more than once in a set, meaning each of your teams of six Pokémon needs to be needs to have no overlapping Pokémon with each other. And this can add a level of strategy, meaning you can build multiple teams with different you know archetypes. And as you progress through matches you can see which Pokemon your opponent can't use in the following match, and you can adjust your teams as necessary. This also confirms that you do need to use different teams, so please have more than one team made before each of your matches. And typical Smogon clauses apply, so that's the Species Clause, meaning you can't use the same Pokemon more than once on the same team, which is kind of a given. Uh, the Sleep Clause, meaning that if you can't put more than one Pokemon on your opponent's team to sleep. Evasion Clause, meaning no evasion boosting moves are allowed. The Oko Clause, the One Hit KO Clause, meaning no One Hit KO moves like Fisher or Guillotine are allowed. Moody Clause, meaning no Pokemon with the ability Moody are allowed. And the Endless Battle Clause, meaning you can't create an endless battle, which is technically possible, as crazy as it sounds. And if you have any questions about any of this, um, or want to refer to it again, all of this information will be available in the Discord, and we are more than happy to help explain things. I even have a video on getting into competitive Pokemon uh, that introduces some of the main concepts that may be fun to learn about, for those of you that aren't as familiar. And I think that just about covers it. Oh no, there's still one more thing. This is going to take place over the course of two weeks. <laughs> so. In the past, um, we've tried to do this in one week before, and it just got to be pretty hectic with coordinating matches, getting people to find time in their busy schedules to actually, you know, have them take place, and then finish it all over the course of a week. So we are going to be extending this challenge so that all of these matches take place over the course of two weeks. This video goes up, next 48 hours are registration, and then the tournament starts. There will be a bracket, and um, it will be accessible online, and multiple people will be helping to coordinate to make sure matches happen. Whenever you do have a match, please upload and save the replay. All matches will be held on Pokemon Showdown, so you do not need to own a Pokemon game in order to actually participate. That's something I should have clarified earlier. <laughs> All matches will be on Pokemon Showdown, which is 100% free and um, very accessible. And all matches should have their replays uh, saved and uploaded and sent to me. Um, more of the rules will be explained in the Discord, or more of the kind of intricacies of, okay, what's the procedure for setting up a battle, and then having that battle, and then reporting that battle to me. Um, if there's any discrepancy, having a replay of the battle is incredibly helpful, obviously. And, yeah, if you want to stream your matches, or record them for YouTube, or whatever it may be, uh, that's 100% permitted. And, 
we'll show off some of the you know big plays or top level battles in the next episode but i think that covers it Any, anything you want to add nate no i, I think you covered it pretty well <laughs> okay <laughs> um if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask Nate. Don't ask me. I like to see him squirm. <laughs> oh, God. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I guess um, we're technically any Pokemon in RU or NU or PU. The tiers below UU are still technically allowed in UU, so those are included if you have favorite Pokemon from them you want to use. But yeah, I think that just about covers it. Um, the rules are kind of all over the place and a little bit difficult to explain, but Again, we have a whole team of people that are more than willing to help. And let's all have some fun playing Pokemans. All right. So I hope many of you guys decide to participate in the tournament. I'm looking forward to playing a bunch of Pokemon. And if you do have any questions, again, uh, feel free to reach out either in the YouTube comment section below or in the Discord. Please join the Discord. <laughs> Please. It's an absolute necessity to participate. And yeah, um, until the next challenge, which will be announced in a couple weeks from now, this is Boom Night Zero. And Nate. And this mission is complete.